out, and, and they've got to put something together right here. Cannon going to take it out of the end zone, looking to make something happen, and Cannon still on his feet. Trenton Cannon leaping over people. Look at this. Cannon's got away. Trenton Cannon, one man to beat. Can he get there? Inside the 10 and tripped up. Trenton Cannon took it out. This, this is not one of those ones where you've got a clear lane. This is a lot of work by Trenton Cannon to get to the point where he did. Look at that. That's great effort. And then everybody, somebody turn to the right, turn to the inside. Uh, a little bit too late. I, Sean Murphy bunting. Great hustle. Great. McNabb, long count, takes the snap, looking, lobbing up in the air, and Brandon McDonald picked it off. He's down the sideline, 10, 20, there's a flag down. He's to the 40, he's to the 50. Westbrook's got an angle on him, and McDonald stiff arms him up the sideline, got away. 10, and inside the 10 at the 7 yard line. Illegal formation on the off miss. Six men in the line of scrimmage. That penalty is declined, end of the half. Kick off, they got some emotion. It's Jalen Saunders, not to be confused with Deion Sanders. Got their record. I'd have been asked them right now. <laughs> and look at the rookie out of Oklahoma. His first kickoff return ever <laughs> is 99 up. yards. He's down at the one. Hamstrings on fire. Come on, man. Coming after Brady. Gets it away. He's picked. He's picked in the end zone. It's Bailey. Bailey taken off, and he gets away from the one man who had a shot at him. Talk about a game changer. Bailey, is he in or not? Running it back 100 yards before Watson comes in at the last minute. Now Brady feels the pressure from the backside. He moves away from it. Very good coverage by Champ Bailey. Goes in front, and it is a foot race, and the Patriots never give up. Kept to the 100-yard return. I tell you, it almost looked like Bailey was pulling up like he hadn't. Osweiler on the slant, intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone, and bringing it back is Drake Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick with a chance to go. Lost the football. Recovered it. And it looks like he'll be marked down just outside of this. The fatigue sets in. He starts working away to the to the other side of the field. And then he sees Demarius Thomas coming in from behind. So let me go back and look the other way. And then he loses control of the ball. Good hustle to get back on top of it. That is a 100-yard <laughs> return. It's kind of a shocker around the part of that last time. He's under 50% completion, but he goes four for four for 98 yards. So quickly turn things around. Cunningham takes it out of the end zone. Working it to the outside. Cunningham has some room. Cuts it middle of the field. Cunningham. Blockers in front of him. Betty Cunningham. Nearly takes it the distance. Mike Jenkins saving the touchdown. Giving the crowd some excitement here. Following his blockers initially up the right sideline. Then it's all on him, cutting back. He's got his teammates continuing to block upfield, giving him space. Great vision on his part. A hundred. Line up the all-time receiving yards chart. And there's Percy Harvin crossing midfield. What man to beat, and Harvin will be tackled inside the five. I'll show you what happened on the final play of the game between the Jets and the Broncos. Watch this. A pick in about midway through the end zone. So let's, let's call it five yards deep in the end zone. Marcus May breaks a tackle, has some speed, getting towards midfield. Time has run out, and the game is over. The Jets have won. Marcus May going in for the pick six from 105 yards, but... Oh, down at the one-yard line. We're looking it up right now. We think... We think this might be the longest non-touchdown in oh, NFL so history. Close. It's about 104 yards, give or take, wherever they call him uh, making the, the interception in the end zone. And it, and it didn't go into the end zone.